Hey there, it's Kyle Russell of Crystal Concentrics, and I am looking at some very interesting pieces of petrified wood. Now, this material is unique because, as you know, all petrified woods, except for jet, are replacements. Fossil is replaced by uh, the mineral quartz, so it becomes heavy and essentially becomes a quartz. What's interesting with these two, you'll notice a little bit of shine here and a little more shine over there, is that they are metallic. Sounds like two pieces of metal being hit together. And that means that there was a high quantity of metallic residue that settled in and substituted for the original wooden tissue. Uh, what's special about this particular one is that it was replaced in part by pyrite. So it has a golden look to it and was apparently covered by a volcanic explosion, which kept the um, detail of the wood pretty intact. And it's got that nice metallic weight more than even quartz. And these other pieces here are from Arizona. So this concept of metallic replaced petrified wood is not unique to one place in the world, but I started thinking about it a little more because I had received this uh, from England where it came from. Apparently it's 54 million years old and uh, is not found through digging or blasting, but uh, found in nature, exposed by storms and water flow, etc. Um, and I had promised the original um, finder of this uh, particular material to make a video about both metallic petrified wood and specifically this material, which they named Sharnite after a... Uh, close contact of theirs. Now, um, what I get from it energetically is that, yes, it's grounding. Uh, all of my petrified woods have to do with the self and or root in terms of representing the fire of movement, either through the legs, hands, arms, fingers, etc., and also having to do with that grounding energy, which I think is stronger with these metallic pieces because of the sheer gravity of them. I do like red petrified woods because of their appeal to the classic root color. But in specific, um, pyrite, as you may know from my energetic system, I have a card deck, a crystal meditation and affirmation card deck that refers to self as a place where a number of different things get worked out, including uh, what pyrite does, which is holding your corner, taking up your place. So pyrite is an important part of being solid in your identity and not being pushed around. So this particular uh, material uh, being pyrite infused has that self energy zone and it's a multi chakra stone because it also appeals to the root. So when I hold it, I definitely feel a strong sense of grounding. I feel a sense of connection, a little bit of fire, a little bit of, uh, energy building, growing, uh, so it's sort of a life bringer, a little bit of a battery pack. Uh, and I also feel a connection to the ancients, to the previous plant and animal generations which may have seen and been around this wood when it was alive. So this has been a little spotlight video on metallic infused petrified woods which are always very interesting, and specifically this material called Sharnite. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in this or other power stones, do visit my site, crystalconcentrics.com, and subscribe here on YouTube, and also check out our Facebook video. Till later. Thanks for watching.